Today we're looking at some rare foreign coins. Some of them are modern, some of them are older coins, but let's just hop right into it and check out this old coin from the 1700s uh, from Austria that has been struck off center. Now it is graded and authenticated by NGC. This coin ended up selling for over $490 at auction. Moving on to a 1964 Great Britain coin here. This one has been quadruple struck and struck 30% off center. Again, authenticated and graded by NGC. This coin ended up selling for $840 at auction. Now we have another Great Britain coin. This is a penny, one penny coin. From 1986, this coin was actually struck onto a foreign planchet. So this coin sold for $159. Moving on to a Canadian coin from 1978. This is supposed to be a Canadian one cent coin or a penny. But however, this coin was struck onto a split planchet after the strike. Um, so this is the result of that. Now this coin ended up selling for $264. Moving on to what was supposed to be a Canadian quarter, a 25 cent coin from either the year 2003 to 2006. It was actually struck onto the wrong planchet. It weighs 1.57 grams. You'll see the whole design of the Canadian quarter is cut off here. Graded and authenticated by PCGS. This coin sold for $384. Wow, look at this old piece of shipwreck. If you guys are into collecting old silver, old gold, check out Coins TV. This is where I picked it up. I mean, they're selling all kinds of awesome coins and collectibles over there for affordable prices. This one here, Spanish Colonial 2 Real Coin. I mean, look at that. Authenticated by NGC, shipwreck certification. History of this coin. Just imagine the people that held this thing. It's incredible. This is why I got into coin collecting because of the history of coins. I absolutely am fascinated by it. So feel free to get you one in the link below. Now here is that 1978 uh, coin, the coin one of two, that was struck onto a split planchet, again $264. 1950 Austria coin here that was overstruck onto a Germany coin from 1941. So super, super rare error to take place here, graded and authenticated by Annex. This coin sold for $264. Next up is a coin from India, 1900. Pretty old coin here, 123 years old. Uh, it's graded by NGC and it was struck off center. So it has an off center error, which can give it some extra value, of course. And that's why the coin sold for over $400. Moving on to another India coin, it's a rupee coin, where the reverse of the coin has been struck through a cap die. So it looks normal on the obverse, but as we flip the coin over, you'll see that the reverse has been struck through. This coin dates anywhere from 1911 to 1936. You can't see the date as a result of the mint error, but this coin did sell for over $400. Here's another coin from India that has a straight clip. Again, these are errors that you can look for on, you know, uh, US coins as well. And other currency from other countries, this coin from 1928 ended up selling for $186. Next up is another off-center error taking place on the 1943 coin from India, two Anas here. And this coin ended up selling for $432. Moving on to a 1944 coin from India, and you can see that it has been broad struck. I kind of like the coins with the uh, holes in the middle. I don't know, I think they kind of look interesting. Definitely different from American coins, but this coin here, graded by NGC, sold for $264. Next up is a one cent coin from Mexico and it does have a reverse brockage. So you'll only see one design of the coin. You don't see the other side. As a result, you see a mirrored image of the reverse design here. And this coin ended up selling for $690. So always inspect your foreign currency as well because you never know, you could have foreign coins that are actually worth money. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.